In this week's episode, Migaloo the White Whale fathers two albino calves, good news for bats and tigers, MIT's cheetah bot gets an upgrade, and female sawfish reproduce without males. Started in India with some good news for tigers. A pioneering study conducted by the Wildlife Conservation Trust suggests that endangered big cats are holding their own even outside of protected areas. The study revealed that 48 adult tigers are living outside protected areas of the country's Chandrapur district, pushing the total number of tigers in the area to 120. In more big cat news, the cheetah-inspired robot MIT cooked up last year has learned some new skills. Already able to bound at an impressive 30 miles per hour in an open field, the cheetah bot can now avoid obstacles thanks to laser sensors and a brain upgrade. From cats to bats and some unexpected news. It seems that white nose syndrome, the fungus decimating bat populations, may have met its match. The new treatment is based on bacteria that was originally studied to see if it could slow the ripening of fruits and vegetables. Staying in the skies, a new robot developed at Stanford University can now perform brain surgery on fruit flies. The bot not only holds individual flies with suction, but can give them a full exam without killing them. Over to Madagascar, where biologists have discovered that the panther chameleon, known for its wide array of color morphs, may actually be 11 different species. The findings mean that each species will need to be reassessed independently by the IUCN. Speaking of protection, a team of three space mice are helping astronauts understand the effects on zero gravity on skin. After 91 days on the International Space Station, the longest mouse trip in history, the trio developed thin skin. From one trip to another, 100 endangered snails are on their way back to their native Tahiti thanks to the Detroit Zoo. The zoo has been working for decades to preserve the tiny Partula nodosa snail. The small-toothed sawfish, one of the most endangered and bizarre fish in the world, just got a whole lot weirder. A new study suggests that female sawfish can give birth without any help from males, a process known as parthenogenesis, or virgin birth. And it looks like Migloo, the white humpback whale that took the web by storm in 2013, may have fathered two albino calves. The pair have been seen in Australia, right in Migloo's stomping grounds. We're wrapping up with a bit of parenting news. Scientists in Australia have found evidence of kangaroos adopting joeys in the wild. That's it for this week, but stay up to date with wildlife and join the conversation by following us on Twitter. Until next time.